I don't want to do it. I'm not happy about it, but I can't wait forever. My Autel Evo Nano ain't coming. If you want to know why, then don't go away. Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. So earlier this year, in an attempt to steal DJI's thunder, Autel released four new drones. Two in the Evo Nano series and two in the Evo Lite series. Now this was deemed a tactical move to either distract people from the upcoming DJI Mavic 3 or potentially to head off or stymie development of the rumoured DJI Mini 3. Well, whatever the reason, as it turned out, launched is probably a bit of an inaccurate description. Announced is probably closer to the truth. Everyone, well, maybe not everyone, including myself, we're very excited at the announcement. The key reason being that in the Nano series they were bringing out a sub 250 gram drone that has many of the features that we've wanted to see in either the DJI Mini 2 or the update to that drone, the DJI Mini 3 or Mini 2S. Things like obstacle avoidance sensors, a bigger sensor for the camera, and Autel's version of an active track feature. All things that owners of the Mini 2 have been crying out for from DJI and that they'd like to see in an updated version of one of, if not the most best-selling and popular drones on the market. In addition to this, they also announced the release of two other drones, the Evo Lite, with the sort of features that would have it competing with the likes of the DJI Air 2S. So leaks started appearing about these new drones, very accurate leaks, and then as a potential release date got closer and closer, Autel basically spilled their guts via several Twitter <laughs> tweets, announcing here's what's coming and this is when it's coming, which was revealed as September the 28th. And so it was. On that day, they released the new drones at an event in China, 10 a.m. Shenzhen time to be exact, which was unusual at the time that it wasn't time to suit the larger American and European markets, but we brushed that off as an anomaly, all got super excited and went to order the drones, only to find that they weren't available until winter 2021. Okay, no problem. That's not far away, I thought, and pre-ordered my drone. Not long after that, a slightly more confirmed availability date of end of October was announced, and here we are in December, and still waiting. And at the time of making this video, we still have no confirmed availability date. Now in a video I posted earlier this year, I predicted that markets such as the US and UK were unlikely to see these drones until sometime in 2022. I cited the low key China only launch and a number of other reasons why this was unlikely to happen. Now I got a lot of comments on that video about how wrong I was. Now I've never been one of those, I told you so guys, but I'll put links to that video in the description below. So here we are in December and we're still waiting. So I've pulled the pin on my pre-order. I was really looking forward to giving the Nano a test drive prior to Christmas, but that is now not gonna happen. There's a couple of other reasons why I've personally taken the decision to do that, which will become clearer in the fullness of time. I'm doing that a lot today. Now, a number of subscribers commented earlier this year on their less than great experiences dealing with Autel, and we blissfully, or more accurately, hopefully, dismiss them, thinking that if they're now looking to eat at the big boys table with DJI, surely their quality, their delivery, and their customer service must be up to scratch. Well, that still remains to be seen. It's hard to judge their quality, delivery, and customer service for these drones if they haven't been able to fulfill any orders yet. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say for themselves at the upcoming CES, or Consumer Electronics Show, in Las Vegas in January. Now, they've traditionally used this to launch new products, and to be fair, I bet they were probably originally planning to launch the Nano and Light series there, but got spooked by all the rumors of DJI's pending releases that they decided to go early. Well. I'm afraid to say if that is the case, that it may have backfired on them because it's relatively easy to get consumers to buy in once, but really hard to get it back when you fail to deliver on the promises. So now that DJI have got the Mavic 3, Action 2, and Ronin 4D camera launches out of the way, I guarantee the last thing they'll be doing is taking a breath. So now the attention will surely turn to the update of the Mini 2. There've been a bunch of predictions about what the Mini 3 or Mini 2S will include, I'm not about to pretend to predict what it will have, but I'm sure as hell certain about the things that I want in it, and so are you, because you've told me so. So check out these videos here, let's get reacquainted with the Mini 3 chatter, and I'll see you over there. Cheers guys.